Uh, it's 11.45 a.m. Tuesday, 8th August 2017. Oh shit, my birthday is going to be in two days. So, I'll be 39. I'm getting old. Uh, so I'll enjoy my... I'll enjoy being 38. <laughs> So this is, as you can see from the electrolysis, right, there's like uh, all these, this is like all pus. <laughs> it's like all, all the skin has been cracked and all this mucus is like leaking out of, like when I got up in the morning, like my hair was stuck to this, like because it was all mucusy and stuff. It doesn't hurt. It was very like uh, scabby, hardened. Um, I think some of the mucus was gone. But when, in the morning, when I looked in the bathroom window, I mean, mirror, it was like, oh, there was like like a mucusy stuff coming out. Some of them had dried. Ugh. Anyway, but um, yeah. <sighs> Who says electrolysis this is not painful? It's painful, damn it. I remember like one part when she was doing the electrolysis around here. As you can see, I still have hair. You, you see, uh, you see, there's still lots of hair around here and here. You know, but it's going and it's gradually, uh, you know, it's gradually going. Pain, pain. Look at that. I've got to do all of this, and it's gonna take a couple. I don't know, maybe a year. <laughs> Going monthly, so expensive. I think this electrolysis is going to be the most expensive for me so far. It's probably going to cost me end up around fifteen thousand dollars if I if I calculate like if I do it for like two years. People like that's how much is going to add up. So <sighs> transition is expensive. It's also a privilege. Not everyone has the opportunity to do it. And uh, it's painful. It is painful. <laughs> it is painful. Uh, so yeah, I prepared my veggies too. I did my morning routine. I'm gonna do some voice practice, and because I gotta go to the uh, course thing today, so I've gotta try to a busy day. I also want to do some cleaning of my room. You know. I've been doing it uh, like I put all the DVDs in the drawer and, and it's gradually happening. I also want to get a new table like I used to have that white color table where you put my makeup. I, I give that to my mom. I want to get a better table like a, like so I can like I want to put it on the other side and I want to just use that for writing and and, and any other things I want to do like this table over here it's got the computer and everything and I just don't have any space to do. Like if I want to do drawing or, or writing or if I want to like, um, I don't know, whatever else, makeup, whatever, <laughs> uh, you know. So I want to have a dis different table for that. And I saw this nice table at Office Works. It's like, it's a pretty good table. It's like, you know, so I, I think I'll get that. But first I want to clean my room and yeah. I definitely want to, I'm going to work on my voice because that's definitely something uh, <clears throat> I would be so happy with myself. I would be so confident if I can get my voice to a feminine range. I will be so happy. It would be like, look, I can talk and I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy with my voice. <laughs> you know? It's like, I want to have a, a nice sounding voice anyway. So, yeah, mucus, <laughs> oh look, look, it's just, uh, 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 uh. So it's 1.20 p.m. Does this, uh, I've got the light coming in from the window. Does this give you a bit of an indication? <laughs> I think this part of my face is like, oh, look at it, it's like swollen. Mm. Oh, it's swollen and bruised. Oh, I think she went there and took some. These are so painful. The ones around here are excruciating. Uh, and apparently, the, if you go around here, it's very painful too. Mm -hmm. So I got lots of, lots of hair too. 
to get rid of. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My next appointment is on, uh, it's on September 18th. So I'm cooking my veggies too. I did some cleaning, did some voice practice. Um, I think I'm going to eat my veggies too before I go because I'll be so tired. So just keeping on, keeping on, keeping on, keeping on, keeping on, keeping on. It's so it's 4.05 p.m. I shaved. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> the pus is leaking. Oh my god. Look at my face, look. Oh, this side is a bit swollen. So I have a lot of work done on the side. So I did my uh, morning, I mean like my, I did my, um, oh, no, shoulders are, I mean like this, that's alright, it's not too bad, it's not too masculine there, <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if I should put it on there, I think I'll put it on this one. Was this lighting, lighting, lighting situation? So I ate my veggie stew and uh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the uh, oh, the class. I haven't applied for a job today. I wanted to, I wanted to apply for one, 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 one. Oh. It is kind of, uh, it is sort of like, uh, <laughs> like leaking, leaking with the dead white cells. Is that, isn't that what it leaks? Uh, oh my god. Hmm. Oh my god, I hope, I hope I can manage to cover it. I had to do a little bit of voice practice, a little bit of cleaning, but I want to try and do it more, like time myself, like and then and, and put it in my uh, record the time and see, you know, <laughs> create create charts for like a week or a month and uh, yeah, so. Yes, I did a little bit, a little bit, uh, not just a reading article and I haven't done the real exercises. Oh, if I want to start doing those, those are exercises, exercises. So I've done quite a lot of things today. I, I made my veggies too. I, did my morning routine, I cleaned the room, I did some voice practice. Um, so, and now I'm getting ready to go to the course. So, those are some good signs of doing things. Uh, because there are moments throughout the day when I, when I feel depressed and low. And so when I feel like that, I just sort of sit down or, you know, watch a video or something. And I noticed like yesterday when I was feeling low, like I, I went outside in the backyard and I started walking in the sun and that made me feel a little bit better. So, you know, nature, <laughs> the backyard is the nature. Um, so I can do things like if I'm in a low mood, uh, I can do things like that to help me feel <clears throat> a little bit more grounded and... Uh, so this is what it's called. Uh, uh, I guess this is called managing my uh, my mental health problems. <laughs> managing my mental health problems. Um. Mm. So yeah, it's like, it's like sometimes it feels so tedious. It's like, uh, 
why can't I just keep it? Just, why, why does it? So it feels like when you're when you're feeling low, it seems it's just so difficult to like do things. But you know, I just like to sort of because the moods stay they come and then they go. So I just let them let them pass. <laughs> let the mood come and then let the mood go. Oh yeah, next week I have a presentation to to give for this class. Oh my god, I gotta, it's a ten minute presentation, but it's not gonna be marked or anything. It's just like a practice or something. So uh, it's supposed to give a talk on some kind of a. Uh, we, we had a choice of options, so I chose the office of the legal services commissioner, and apparently, from what uh, research I did. The Office of the Legal Services Commissioner is a is a statutory body. What is it? Statutory body that is not that is a. Well, it's it base, it's like a. I should actually uh, Google that. What does that mean? Like it's sort it's sort of like a. They investigate complaints against uh, against lawyers in. Um, you know. Yes, in 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 uh, New South Wales. Yeah, New South Wales. So if you you know, oh shit, so should we do the past thing? I don't think uh, you know because uh, yeah. Anyway, so the the the. Uh, or they can refer complaints to the uh, Law Society of New South Wales, which is uh, deals with solicitors complaints, or the Bar Association of New South Wales, which deals with barristers. Um, so I think they, they take, uh, it's sort of like in the public interest, right? I, 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 should, I should actually read more cases, like examples of where um, examples of how this body has, uh, um, you know, what, what, you know, if you can make a complaint against a lawyer saying that this, will, my lawyer was very rude to me, uh, <laughs> you can actually make a complaint like the lawyer is very rude and, uh, you know, or the, the communication is extremely poor and, um, and then you, you, if you make a complaint like that, you can get sanctioned. I mean, even on their side, they're saying that before you come and make a formal complaint, you're actually required to ha try to get your pro problem issue resolved informally. Uh, I guess because they don't want to, people just making complaints and taking up all these resources. So uh, anyway, so th 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 that's what I'm going to talk about. Next, uh, next, uh, I don't know. Next, uh, oh, sorry, next Tuesday. I hope I, ha I can get 10 minutes uh, worth of uh, something to talk about. I, know, I hope I can train my voice. I'm going to train my voice every day, so I'll be a little bit more confident <laughs> when I give my presentation. Oh my god, it's still like, oh, oh. Oh man, this is not good. This is not good. This is a problem when you try and uh, do electrolysis. Uh, electrolysis. I hope this is not going to create an infection. Will it create an infection? No, because this thing does contain bacteria, doesn't it? When people see that, oh, they, oh I just, uh, what do I, what excuse? I don't think anyone will ask, because I'm, I'm not a very friendly person. <laughs> it's 
not easy to approach me. So can you just leave me the fuck alone? Don't go and talk to me. Unless, unless it's like a, unless you have a specific, I don't want to chit chat. Unless you have a very specific uh, question, then don't ask me questions. I don't want to talk about the weather. I don't want to do any of that bullshit. I don't feel like it. It's so stressful for me to be around people. <laughs> I'm expending a lot of energy. Um, I think it's because I'm an, you know, I, I'm an, I feel like I am an empath. Now, what I mean by that is like, it doesn't mean that I am like uh, generous or anything. What that means is physiologically, I can't help but uh, pick up other people's moods. And I'm very, very like, I, I, I um, the environment tends to affect me on a physiological level. Now, usually when you say the word empath, you, you, people think, oh, this person is very generous and kind. No, 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 no. I can be a very self-centered person, like conceptual, like on a, my attitude and my thought processes can be quite self-absorbed and self-centered. But on a physiological level, I am, I can't help but respond to other people's emotions. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I've always thought this about myself. Like, I have, I have a bit of a... I'm a bit of a, <laughs> I don't know, the word asshole or, or, or jerk or something comes to mind. But, see, but I also have the, my, my physiology also makes me empathic. So it's like a <laughs> difficult situation. <laughs> because if I, if I wasn't empathic and I could be a complete, like, an inconsiderate person, like, it wouldn't bother me. But because I do, like... You know, I am kind. Of, I am physiologically empathic. I can understand people like, oh, you know, so I can empathize with people's emotional states and stuff. So that makes it difficult for me to be an asshole because I feel guilty and I feel bad. It doesn't mean that I, you know, I'm not going to be, but uh, it creates a lot of conflict in me. Um, because, you know, I don't want to hurt people because it makes me feel bad. I don't want to hurt people because it makes me feel bad. Um, but there are some people, you know, they don't, they don't feel bad. And for them, you know, I guess the only way those people will uh, change their behavior is if they get negative consequences. Like for me, I can adapt my behavior based on the fact that I feel guilt, I feel shame, I feel, I can I can empathize with someone else's suffering or whatever. So I don't need a lot of negative uh, external kind of stimulus to make me behave in a certain way, you know? Um, but I don't know, I feel like, I think this is what, you know, these narcissist type of people, they, or, or well, whatever on, on that thing because they can't em if, if a person can't empathize then they in order to regulate their behavior they need external pressure so um you know because it's not even because they, they might not you know they don't have that internal emotional thing telling them don't do this because the feeling is bad it, it you have to um you know, uh, place negative negative consequences, external negative consequences on their actions. So they might be prevented from doing something they want to do if they. So if they do this, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> you know? well, uh, whereas for me, it's like I don't need the external reminder. I I won't do it. Not because of some external thing. I won't do it because internally I would feel bad. You see, so. So for someone like me, even if no one knew, no one knew, if I did something I know was wrong and no one knew about it, I would feel guilt, right? Uh, and that guilt will make me, it may make me feel bad. Whereas so, so if someone cannot empathize, if they, if, if they did something wrong and no one knew about it, they really don't feel guilt or don't feel bad. So 
those kinds of people i i think like they, they don't they don't they don't have any more incentive to be good if there is no ex external consequences to their actions so if they can you know commit a do a do a harm and get away with it what is going to stop them the only thing which will stop them is the, is if there are some like if someone is going to find out right but if no one is going to find out what's going to stop them from doing something wrong whereas for people who have empathy and who have who do feel guilt and shame they have to live with that internal emotional conflict and pain and guilt which are shame isn't shame is a very negative feeling and and therefore even if they did something wrong and no one in the whole world is ever going to find out they will still feel inside of them they will feel they will be living with it and they, that'll compel them either to you know confess or it'll compel them not to do something bad in the first place so even if you could do something bad like harm, harming someone and uh even though you know that you will never be caught a person who has this kind of empathy uh, is not going to do it because they won't be able to live with the internal shame and guilt right so i think you need empathy in order to do be ethical but in this modern world we live in because <laughs> so for some reason people just want to regulate your behavior from the outside saying it so they don't care about how you your character they they're more worried about okay if you do this you'll just you'll be punished this way and and i don't know i mean that i don't know if that's actually breeding narcissists because people just stop worrying about their character and are only interested in performing certain uh, ethical acts in order not to get negative consequences so people just fake ethics or, or or they do what they need to do in order to function in in a society that is set up in a way in that way these days you know how many people are actually feel feel shame like how many people feel shame about having done something wrong you know it's like uh, so the i think the society itself has become kind of corrupt you know it's 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 and it, 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 the society might make people more narcissistic um but i think that can be changed i think people can push back and try and emphasize character and your internal moral compass and not just you know reward punishment some something like that uh anyway i think there's some, that, that that's that's missing uh, that the we have to value how we feel on the inside not just how we do things you know it's not i think we have to value character character means doing the right thing even when there's no one around to notice it you know and why would you do the right thing if you you know if you don't have a lot of empathy well, you know i'm just saying can empathy be actually can you actually train someone to diminish their empathy i don't know it's an interesting question anyway it's 4:23 uh that's my this going to be a bit this video might be a bit longer this video might be a bit long Oh. oh my god this thing is still leaking it's leaking the the the, the pus thing oh it's leaking the pus thing so, yeah I, I ate my food so maybe, <laughs> maybe my tummy is a bit big i should work on that i should work on getting my, my tummy a bit yes all of that is is in is in the works a little bit of time a little bit at a time. Mm. I'm really tired right now. It's like you know, just talking about this makes me uh, like I just feel exhausted after having that, like that rant. You know, that rant made me uh, exhausted. It's like, uh, oh God, I just can't handle this. <sighs> mm hmm. Mm. Anyway, so 
Oh shit, it's 19 minutes long. Oh my god, this this video, this section of the video. Ugh. Anyway. So it's 5.06. I drove all the way here. Tired. Mm, I have to go to the um oh shit. Mm, see I said leaking. <laughs> oh god. I should have brought some tissue. Oh, leaky, leaky. My face is really leaking. <laughs> I made it. Um, I'm in a very stressful, anxious state. Well, not that anxious, but just very. Just got this headache, like uh, it's like. God. We gotta go in to get like a parking, like a sticker or something. I gotta go to the admin place. I feel like being around people. It takes a lot of my energy, you know. Uh, being around people takes, consumes a lot of my... Yes, that's right. If your brain, your brain can div divert energy to thinking and also emotions. And... Uh... Oh yeah, I wanted to make a video called My Suffering is Mental. Sounds funny, but a lot of my suffering is mental, like a mental health problem. Some people suffer in life physically, they might have a physical ailment, but for me it's a, it's a mental, uh, my suffering is mental. And, um, you know, it's due to childhood issues, traumatic memories. Uh, yeah, yeah, and um, mm, I feel like I'm a prisoner of my mind. Um, and it's not a so I have to work on that internal mental place so I can reduce my mental suffering. Yes, suffering. Uh, I don't want to make it to me a too long because then I've got to watch it and it's like, oh, I'm going to be so tired <laughs> watching the video. <laughs> oh, oh my god. So I will sign off. I'd say 26. Going home, it's very dark. <sighs>